Hello, my name is George and in today's video I'm going to do a quick recap and informative piece on the new NVIDIA WHQL uh, GeForce Driver 442.50. So um, <clears throat> there's really not much uh, addition to this driver. Um, there's really not a lot of features that they implemented into this. It looks like a pretty incremental update to myself. So I'm not going to take too long to review it. But um, yeah, I really just downloaded it. Um, I ran a game or two, I think, of Rainbow Six Siege and uh, GTA. I don't really see many issues with it. Um, I'm going to take a little bit to wait and see how this uh, driver stabilizes on my stream PC. But for the time being, I don't see any uh, immediate issues. Um, first things first, uh, this new driver, like I said, does not have many features. Uh, but... It has some uh, updates, uh, day one support for like Apex Legends season four. I guess there'll be a lot of people interested in that. The Division Two Warlords of New York expansion and Arc Genesis part one. So um, yeah, they just have some optimizations to these games that are currently out already. Um, let's see. I also read in some other forums that are discussing this new, this driver. Um, there is some updates to like particularly VR games and uh, it's really nothing of note, something about VR chat, so on and so forth. Um, some driver optimizations to VR chat and uh, that's really pretty much it. So uh, I haven't really found much other information regarding this. Maybe we'll see as this driver starts to uh, mature and when I say mature, it usually passes the 24 hour port and it starts to quote unquote mature but I don't really see anything new popping up as long as this game doesn't crash and it's like ultra stable which I'm hoping it is um, I'm not going to see any issues with it I'm not going to do uh, another piece on it if I don't see any other issues or major performance improvements in the games that I normally play uh, maybe if I play Epic Legends and it's like st something stunning stunningly different maybe uh that much more FPS was attracted with this driver with the new season, then I'll do another piece on it. But for the time being, it's just an incremental update. Um, so yeah, my uh, my advice to everyone is, is don't update to this driver if you don't require the features. But then again, a lot of people are playing uh, Apex Legends and there's a driver update for the new season. So they'll go ahead and download it. If it is unstable for you on any games, uh, just go ahead and roll back the driver to uh, 442.19 was the previous driver that was stable for me. Um, yeah, and I think uh, that's pretty much it. Basically, the name of the game is don't update your driver if you don't require it. It will not cause headaches and issues for you down the road. So, um, yeah, I just do this for my uh, for my viewers uh, and uh, I kind of beta test it because there are a lot of times where NVIDIA will roll out a driver and it will be unstable and I will be the first to know about it. So I'll be the first to tell people do not download a given driver. So, so far, I haven't seen any troubles with it. Um, like I said, I'll keep everyone. Uh, I'll keep everyone in touch if there is any issues that arise from this. I, I don't think there'll be anything particularly of note, uh, mainly because it's just a incremental update to accommodate a few games, and that's about it. So yeah, um, that's about it for today. Uh, please and like, please like and subscribe on this video if you uh, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it. Um, please put your comments in the comment section below. Um, if you have any comments or questions that you want me to answer in real time, please come in. Uh, follow my mixer stream. It's in the link in the description below. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions when I'm live. I'm about to go live from now. I just woke up. So um, I think uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah. Thanks for watching today. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.